Hey guys, it's Jennifer and today we are doing an, an October wrap up and journal flip through. I didn't want to put my face on camera today simply because I haven't put on makeup. <laughs> so, um, I kind of, October is my favorite month and my birthday is in October. So I kind of had lots of fun with how I designed my cover photo for October. And here is my monthly calendar. Again, you can see which books I read, how many pages I read that day. Um, for t books with long titles, I just put uh, the letters that each word starts with because I'm lazy. So, let's just get into it. And, of course, for warning, if you don't want any uh, spoilers, don't read what I wrote. So, the first book I read this month was Infects. Uh, this month I tried sticking with like a horror or weird theme for October so I could get in the spooky mood. And I've read the Infects before in high school and I really enjoyed it then and I really enjoyed it now. It's uh, fast paced and an overall interesting story. I'm going to spoil it right now. Cover your ears if you don't want to know the spoiler. I found it interesting because, uh, you no, know, the infection starts through fast food, chicken fast food joints. And I just think that's interesting since how much Americans today eat fast food, especially chicken. So, it's a pretty good story. And I gave it four stars. And then I read Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill. I have never read a Joe Hill book before. Uh, I know, at least for some people in the horror genre, he's pretty popular, and I'm not really big on paranormal stories, and I absolutely loved this book. I gave it five stars, which is saying something considering that I don't like uh, paranormal s stories next to none, because I don't find paranormal scary, because I don't believe in ghosts, but this book was really good. It had lots of suspenseful moments, and it had a really good ending as well. And then I read Vampires in the Lemon Grove by Karen Russell. I was really hyped up for this book. I was planning to read this book uh, for this month in particular, and I did not enjoy it at all. Um, I really only enjoyed the first stories, Vampires in the Lemon Grove, also the title of the book, and Reeling for the Empire. Everything else I thought was really boring. It wasn't as weird as the other two as I would have liked them to be. And I don't know, the they were just slow and boring. Like, by the time that I got to the last two stories, I did DNF it. But I still consider it that I read it simply because I read over half the book. Um, as where you can see that I started TikTok by G uh, Dean Koontz, but I didn't give it any rating because I didn't even get past 50 pa pages. I'm not counting that as me reading it. Um, I guarantee you it would have been a great story, but there was way too much, uh, like the character, I forget the character's name, but he's overthinking too much and... Just the way he's acting, it really pulls away from the scary parts of the story. And because of that, I just started skimming through it and only getting to the juicy parts. But when I get to that point, I figure that I don't want to read the book anymore because I'm, never, I'm not actually reading the book anymore. I'm just looking for the parts I want to read. So I didn't finish this book this month. And then I don't want to show. Here's my November. I didn't want to show it, but I guess I will. Uh, but here is my monthly stats. I finished two books and started four. And I only read, uh, 1,700 pages. Almost 1,800 pages. <clears throat> Not as much as I... Well, I mean, I read a lot, but I didn't read very many books. I read a lot of pages, but not books. And then, of course, I read mostly horror, uh, this month. And... I had one five star, one four star, one one star, and one none. And then most of my books I read this month were in paperback. So that's all I got to show you besides my wonderful November 
cover. I'm very happy with it, but I'm not going to show you anything past this until next month. So, I know this was really short, but I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye!